G'day everyone, Ali here. Well, I've got this rock here that I've gessoed and I am going to do something pretty cool with it. So this rock here that I've picked out of my garden has got a bit of a flat edge on here and I thought what I wanted to do was put a word on here that I'll cut out with the word die and I'll glue that on using some matte Mod Podge. I also want to add some butterflies to this and I've got my box of leftover napkins here. So I'm sure I'll find some butterfly napkins in my leftover box of napkins here. So I don't throw anything out, uh, anything, I just pop it into this leftover box because uh, I'm sure that I'll get round to using it. So I've got some butterfly napkins here that I will use. Now this project was inspired by Eileen McGuinness and I'll link her YouTube channel down below. She's one of my favourite YouTubers that I follow and she does some amazing um, stuff and she's got some really great ideas. And I do love that she's an all-rounder crafter and that's what I want to be. I'm going to use a water brush here and I'm just going to go around the butterflies with my water brush because I want a jagged edge. I don't want to cut the tissue paper out because I want the lines soft when I glue the butterflies onto the rock. So I've got my box of word dies here and I'm just going to go through it and just pick out some words that I think I'm going to use. So I want to get everything ready before I do the Mod Podge so I just want to do the Mod Podge just in one hit. So I've decided that I'm going to use the word love out of this word die and I've got some black paper here. Well, it was actually photocopy paper and I painted it back and front with black paper for another project. So I'm just going to use that and I'll just pick all of the elements out of this die. So I've got all my elements here ready to glue down and I'm going to start off with my word. Now I pop the Mod Podge down and it's really easy to manoeuvre the letters when there's a fair bit of glue on the rock. So once I've done that then I'll continue to glue down my butterflies. Now I'm not sure if you can see, but why I use a wet brush to pull the butterflies away on the napkin is you don't get harsh lines and the butterflies, uh, they sort of look to be part of the rock and that's what I'm looking for. I 
just going to use my heat tool just to dry everything off because I do want to continue with the butterfly theme underneath my rock. So I've got some floral stem wire here and uh, I've got it in 18 and 22 gauge in silver and gold and I'm just trying to figure out which one to do and I think the 22 gauge is going to be better for what I want to do. Now this stem wire does measure 46 centimetres or 18 inches. So I'm going for the 22 inch gauge stem wire. So I've got some round nose pliers here which I'll use to help me manipulate the wire. So I've just got my wire, I've popped it under the rock and I'm going to twist it over to the top and I'm just going to give it two twists on the top. So it'll look like an antenna I guess on top of my rock. Now with my round nose pliers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to roll the end of the wire in. So once I've started the roll, I can take that off and then what I can do is with my fingers, I will just put the wire between my thumb and index finger and then I can start to roll the wire. So essentially at the end, it'll look like a round paper clip on the end of my wire. And I'll just repeat the process on the other side here. So the 22 gauge wire is nice and flexible and can be manoeuvred quite easily. So as you can see, it's a bit like a round paper clip and I think uh, the rough paper clip look gives it that authenticity to my rock. So to tighten the wire to the rock, I'm just getting my round nose pliers and on the bottom, I will just grab the wire and just give it a bit of a twist. And this will tighten the wire around the rock. So now all I have to do is pick what pictures I'm gonna put in my picture rock. Uh, this took no time, this project probably took all up 15 minutes to do. Uh, the longest part of it was getting the gesso to dry. So I hope you've been inspired as I was from Eileen. And if you have, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya!